All right, guys, and welcome back once again to the hillside. Today, I'm going to talk about why you should consider growing your plants from seed. So if you haven't followed this channel for a long time, you might know I'm what you might call seed crazy. I mean, how many people do you know have purple basil? You got the lettuce leaf basil. You have 72 coleus growing. This is all in my bedroom, by the way, at this grow, this grow stand, as you can kind of, kind of, you kind of pan back on it, you know, two shelves. And I'm not crazy. I know these lights are angled. It's because over here, I have pepper plants growing, and I don't want them to get burned by the lights, as I have seedlings over here that are just not going to be, uh, you know, they need the light to be closer so they don't get too leggy, like these, uh, these purple streak Mizuna. I kind of left the lights off for too long and they kind of got leggy on me. Hopefully they will recover. So why should you grow things from seed? Let's talk about it. Growing things from seed, A, the varieties, okay? At the big box store, you're not going to get, you know, 200 different types of tomatoes to choose from. You're not going to be able to get, you know, just that one rare random pepper. So what do you do? You go online, you find seeds, you know somebody else who has seeds and you trade with them or you, 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 you find them just someone that can just give you some seeds to start off with. Okay, and that's what it's all about. Just growing things from seed like this over here. Let me show you this right here. So these right here, these pepper plants right here are very rare, very impossible to find seeds for several different types of Manzano peppers. And I don't have the list with me right now, but these, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different varieties. And as you tell, some of these never even sprouted, okay? So that's the chance you have to take with some old seeds. And Manzanos are difficult to start in general anyways. I digress. However, um, these, you're not going to find these in the store. So I'm trying to get out, okay? You're not going to buy these in the store under any circumstance ever. These next door right here, these are just some uh, more common peppers. Some are habanero. Some are the dattel peppers. Um, the habaneros, yes, you're going to find those in the big box store. They're easily found. You're also going to, you're not going to find the dattel peppers unless you maybe in Florida, maybe. And that's a, that's a big maybe. But anyhow, starting this from seed, you have the opportunity to grow so many different varieties. Okay, and you can control the lights. You can control the soil. You can control what water and fertilizer your plants receive. You don't want to be, uh, you know, using synthetic chemicals. You can control for that. Okay. You don't want to have, you know, certain types of uh, things on your plants. You can control for that. That is why growing from seed is so awesome. Now, what else? So these purple basil, which are totally awesome color. I mean, just check that out, right? That awesome color on that purple basil. Amazing. Um, you might find this in the store, you may not, but guess what? You are gonna pay a lot of money, all right, for this much basil, because you might pay four, five, six ninety nine dollars for just like a little four pack seeds or something, right? Crazy, you cannot you cannot justify paying that much money for this, this many plants, okay? These coleus right here, if you get a four inch or six inch pot with like maybe two or three coleus they sell at the stores, you're gonna pay six, seven, eight bucks, maybe more, who knows, okay? I, I bought a pack of seeds for like 300 seeds, cost like six bucks, okay? They're like little dust. I end up sprinkled a little bit on the surface like you're supposed to. I now have like 150 of these coleus plants. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. But at seven or eight bucks a pop, I mean, that would have cost you, you know, tons and tons and tons of money. You don't need to do that. You can save so much money by growing your stuff from seed, right, guys? I definitely encourage you, grow things from seed. You're going to save money. You're going to have the enjoyment of things growing indoors, Okay, you're going to extend your growing season to 365 days. Okay, these lights don't take up any space. This little rack and shelf I got set up in the you know corner of the bedroom here is not in the way. It's not bothering anybody. Uh, once these plants get outside, you know, in the wintertime, it's cold, depending where you live. You know, you want to see something grow. Okay, so what do you do? You plant seeds. You watch them grow. Why not? You know, you keep house plants. You got, um, you got other stuff. It doesn't just have to be herbs or flowers or plants. I've grown trees from seed just for fun. I grew some seeds uh, that I'm turning into bonsai trees. I grew those from seed from some ones I found just on the sidewalk, right? So let me show you something else I got going over here about why you should consider growing things from seed. Check out these different colors, okay? You got red lettuces, you got beets, there's wild arugula, there's a different kind of, I think, radicchio growing in there. You can grow your own salad bowls. 
this is just a little tray that was uh you know you buy it has a little dome on it to grow some plants with but check it out i've been picking leaves off this they keep growing back talk about fresh salad you know what you pick it you eat it right away it's the freshest salad you could ever get right there growing on this a little stand under one little grow light it takes almost no space at all now are you going to be able to live on this hopefully you have more to eat than just that but i mean you can have amazing fresh produce just at your fingertips right and over here, some more awesome pepper plants. Look how healthy these things are, okay? These are some more of those Monzano peppers that are doing much better, mind you. So I do definitely need to transplant those other ones into individual containers, give them a better shot at growing. But there you go. I mean, you're growing things that you can eat. You're growing things that maybe smell good. You know, you're growing uh, plants that have a nice flowery scent or just some house plants. You're saving money by growing things from seed. And I mean, check this out over here, guys. And yes, this is all in my bedroom. And yes, I know I have a problem with growing things from seed, but I digress. Check this out. Rosemary from seed. Those plants are crazy expensive. Super easy to grow from seed, by the way. This is stevia, the herb, you know, the plant. There's like $9.99 or $11 for a small little stevia plant. Insane. You cannot justify this. I mean, I if you, if you can, you got that kind of money, go for it, I guess. I don't know. But these cups right here, these are four. Um... Candle lilies, you know, one of my favorite flowers, beautiful candle lilies, almost look like, like uh, palm trees or bananas or something, right? You know, palm trees, banana tree, right? Big, big leaves. They are, by the way, in the same ginger family, the mother family of ginger, turmeric, uh, canna, uh, sorry, calla, canna lilies, bananas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It doesn't matter. But these are super hard, rare varieties to find. Uh, some of these are from South America. Again, you're not going to find these in a big box store. If you want to see this plant grow, if you want the pleasure of watching this plant grow from seed to flower or seed to fruit or seed to you know, the, harvesting the herbs to use for your cooking for that first meal where you cook, you know, a meal with just your own homegrown herbs and produce. If you've never done that before, guys, to watch a seed grow from you know, just putting it in the dirt to watching it to grow to leaf to flower to fruit and then consuming it for your meal, for you, your family, your friends. That is the most satisfying and rewarding feeling you could ever have as a gardener and something we should all strive for. You need to experience it at least once, guys. I'm telling you, growing from seed is the way to go, if at all possible. All right, guys, so hopefully this video did inspire you to get out there and grow some things from seed. Hopefully you are motivated to get out there and try some new things. And if you kill a few seeds in the process, it's not a big deal, guys. You know, you, you, unless you're buying some crazy, super expensive, rare seed, probably not the best bet if it's your first time trying to get that, you know, that first crazy rare seed to grow. But if you're going to kill a plant, it's going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. Look at all this, right? These peppers, this this lettuce, these this spinach, this arugula, you get a package that has like 200 seeds in it for almost nothing. So if you mess it up, try again. And by the way, can you imagine if you actually planted all 200 seeds of that arugula package or that kale or lettuce or whatever you're growing, you would have more than you could possibly ever eat. You couldn't even give it away fast enough. It'd be worse than the dreaded zucchini monster that everybody grows. It just multiplies like crazy and you have nothing to do with it, right? Anyways, so from the hillside, Hopefully this did inspire you to grow some things from C. I'm getting a little long-winded, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. So until next time, guys, here at the Hillside, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.